You know, you heard of no other Compton Crip said but Grant. What about just CC, Compton Crip? Yeah, well, 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 they use they yeah. use uh, the CC. So Compton everybody Crip. was basically under CC. CC, yeah. but, but all you heard was Grant, the Grant. at that time but they was forming though they was they was out but it was just pretty much forming you know within the last two three years so when you was working at WLCAC you seen a lot of startup gangs from Watts and Compton yeah 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 then I had family members stayed in stayed in Compton so we go out there and visit my family members. Um, um, at the time, when I was going out there, all I heard was a lot of Pyru. Crips outnumbered so goddamn much as far as Pyrus that we was all happy to be together, but they had a Crip here. We had a Pyru here. <laughs> but the, loud, the chest of Crip here was so much louder than Pyru here. And see, it was like, hey man, why do they keep still saying power rules? Right? And then, hell, everybody else with their name. Motor Park. Can we say Motor Park here? Car Park, we say Car Park here. Uh, front, what was we saying? Front here, right? You're not doing that. Everybody said Crip here with power rules. That's all I heard of, a lot of power rules. Um, but they did have different little, little copying um, Crip gangs forming them. When, when they were saying Pyru, was it just Pyru or was they splintering like East Side Pyru, West Side Pyru, or Looters Park, or anything like that? Well, at that time, I didn't really hear too many different names of for the Pyru, but Pyru was, uh, was work. Oh, the Pyru, there's Pyru that, you know. Did you know A.C. Baba Louie back then? Yes. You I, did know him? Yeah, I was in Y.A. with him. Okay, that's what you and, had And we was on the same unit, the same. Matter of fact, he left just before, for the, the unit, uh, uh, Y.Z., he left just before Mac Thomas uh, uh, arrived. Mm -hmm. And um, A.C. went to C&D. He went to C and D with um with L B and then was over there. So you was locked up with a lot of these dudes in the early 70s. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was in why everybody was that age and everybody was fuck up and <laughs> <laughs> they was in Y. You know, and if they wasn't in TS, they was in um uh, um Pass Rovers, Nellis, um Preston. <clears throat> Did you know Roy Tucker? Roy Tucker. Mm -hmm. I know what Tucker, I'm not sure if it's, but that's what we call him, Tucker. What about The Undertaker? The name sound familiar? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool <clears throat> Did you know anything about The Red House? Yeah, The Red House on Pine and Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, yeah, I know about it. Tookie ran it. Did you go up there? Not, no, I didn't hang around it, pass by it, and so forth. Because I had some cousins stayed in Linwood over there. And uh, I knew a few more people. And, and matter of fact, I used to be next door of the Red House in some apartments. Mm -hmm. But just hanging out in the Red House, nah. How about uh, the U.S. boys? Did you know anything about them? Yeah. What did you know about them? The U.S. in 1973, um, we went up to South Park in Compton, and um, we was mafia then. We were just forming the mafia. We had been together maybe, maybe about, matter of fact, less than a year, claiming mafia, 
and we was going we went up there to talk with them to hook up with them you know but um that that really didn't become nothing though mm -hmm. but that's when I first heard about them up at South Park because I had a, a a friend of mine stayed down the street from South Park so he used to go up to the park and he wasn't really gang affiliated, but I guess he called himself trying to get into the gang thing. And, um, he took us up there and we talked, we talked with a couple of them dudes. Um, one of the dudes I remember name was Knuckles um, back then. And um, yeah. Whatever happened to Knuckles? I don't know, you know, I haven't really heard too much. Did he become a crook or a pyro? You know what? Now, I don't know what he became because after we stopped um, going up there, I never saw him no more. But I, to my understanding, he became a pyro. Because, um, matter of fact, one day we was up there um, and some Pyrus came through there. And I guess they thought we was U.S. or whatever. And they said, hey, um, y'all saw Knuckles? And I um, said, nah, we ain't seen him. And they rode through. So I know he was somewhat affiliated with the Pyru. Did you consider it or have any information on the U.S. boys being Bias to one side or the other, or were they neutral or what? Well, at, at the beginning, I I thought they was neutral. neutral. That's why we went up there to holler at them. And what was the reason why y'all didn't get along? Or well, well, well. Um, when I was going to Washington High, um, it's a dude I knew knew there. He moved. Well, he stayed in H. Ray Gangster Hood, but he moved in Compton over there by South Park, and they was warned. He was a crip, and them dudes from over there was warned with him. So, receiving that information, I'm like, them dudes got to be power moves now, you know. And I couldn't, you know, I can't say they was bloods because bloods hadn't really formed then. You know, it was just, either he was a Pyro, Brown, Outlaw, or whatever. See, the, the blood thing didn't form until YA. Some people gonna say on the streets and all that, no, it was rough in YA, you know. And so I can't say that they was affiliated with the blood, but if they were fighting against some Crips, I'm thinking they was power. When you was locked up, did they, was it any U.S. boys in there? I don't, you know what, I ain't heard of none, none being in there. I think they disbanded around 74. Yeah, I think they was out. They was just, just power. And then I, I think that whole neighborhood had changed to what? Southsiders? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Changed to Southsiders.